Hello everybody, this is Curry from youtube.com slash currygaming and twitch.tv slash curry. I'm currently streaming the Mr. Pandaria beta over there, so come check it out, hang out with our stream reviewers, and uh, have a good time with us. So guys, today I'm going to be covering what assassination is like as a specialization in the Mr. Pandaria beta. So I'm going to be comparing what's different between beta and live, kind of going over every single specialization ability, passive and active, and just kind of giving you guys an idea of what changed and what you need to keep aware of when you come into the beta and start playing your assassination rogue, who, in my opinion, just to give you guys a, a straight up example, I think is going to be one of the best questing and possibly one of the best rating specs and maybe even PvP specs to start out Mr. Pandari. I don't know how it's going to evolve, but... Assassination got good, so let's go over it. So you guys will see there's three different specs. I'm going to be going over assassination today. I'll go through each and every ability, explain how it changed, if it changed, and stuff like that. So let's get started. Assassin's Resolve. So this is the exact same it is on live. You'll notice that it has vitality and this damage increase kind of combined. Uh, you get 20 more energy and it damage is increased by 20%. Pretty standard, pretty nice. And it's passive, so don't even worry about it being active, it's just there. Next, you have improved poisons. Now, because instant poison was removed from the game, the tooltip got changed. Now it only applies to deadly and wound poison. Now, instant poison isn't gone, it was just baked into deadly poison as an effect. But basically, they made it a baseline 20% application increase rate between deadly and wound instead of splitting it and making it different percentages for each poison. And, uh, yeah, that's really about it for that. But on a, as an aside, guys, poisons are ticking for ridiculous damage on beta. Like, super, super ridiculous damage. Combat, someone was logging it on the MMO forums, was doing about 25% of their damage done. Now, can you imagine as assassination, no one's been doing logs, so I can't speak to it, but assassination gets improved poisons, assassins resolve, and mastery that increases your talent or your points your poison damage done that makes for a lot of damage done by your poisons so rogues especially in assassination are in a good place and yeah I'm happy with this particular change so guys next is mutilate now this is what you're gonna be spamming primarily it's your number one used ability until you hit the execute phase at 35 percent HP it has a decreased energy cost, and the damage percentage and base damage was decreased. Now, the reason the energy is lower is because they baked the Mutilate Glyph straight into the ability for you, so you don't have to worry about having a Glyph for it anymore. That was taken out. It's just right in the ability. And also, as it is currently in 4.3.2, you don't need to have a poison on your target to get full Mutilate damage. That was a quality of life change put in in Cataclysm, and it carries over to the beta. And the damage decrease, the reason that happened is because the weapon damage has been increased on beta. You'll be noticing that your DPS on each weapon and your base damage in general on weapons is significantly higher. So to compensate for that, they made the percentages and the base damage a little bit lower. Overall, nice changes. Overkill, it's the exact same. It's the thing that once you use stealth and go and engage a boss or when you use vanish and come out of it you get extra energy back so overkills why assassination rogues need to pay attention to when they use vanish in fights but yeah it didn't change it's still there it's still beautiful i like it a lot in venom so guys the change to deadly poison on beta is pretty nice right now deadly poison does not stack to five anymore. It only hits one time and every additional thing is like an instant poison proc. So because of that, and Venom got changed. And Venom used to track not only your combo points, but the number of stacks that your deadly poison was stacked to on your target. Since the stacks are gone, now all you have to worry about is how many combo points you have on your target when you use Venom. Now you'll also notice that it doesn't have because no stacks it's going to be really target swapping friendly. All you got to worry about is the combo points on your target. No longer do you have to worry about there being a poison present. It literally is just use it and go. Right now, assassination rogues are kind of penalized when they need to change targets because they have to stack up deadly poison to five stacks to get full and venom damage. That's no longer the case. 
and I see Assassination benefiting from this Vin Venom change when it comes to target swapping fights. Once again though guys, you'll notice the, uh, the per combo point damage has been increased for each rank. But overall, really good changes. Seal Fate. So this turns the 2 point talent into a passive. It's pretty nice, it gives you back combo points, it's why Assassination Rogues get back like ridiculous amounts of combo points and you can barely spend them all. Uh, other than that though, it's the same as it is on live. So yeah, just a quality of life change there. Blindside. Now if you were looking at previous iterations of the beta, you'll notice that Blindside didn't exist prior to the pr this patch. So Blindside replaced Cold Blood, and I never really liked Cold Blood. It was kind of a eh, meh talent, meh cooldown to use. Blindside is, it's got its positives and negatives, but what it lets you do is it lets you use your execute at a, any HP level the boss is at. As long as you're using Mutilate, you'll have a 30% chance to put you in a quote-unquote advantageous position, letting you use Dispatch. So what it allows you to do is just use this really high damage, really low energy Dispatch ability at a random time, 30% chance to have it activate during a boss fight. Now it kind of makes you be on your toes as assassination because previously you would just mutilate spam and keep in venom up the entire time and never have to worry about anything until 35% HP. Now you actually have to keep track of a random buff that you can get. My only beef with it is it's only lasting for about 5 or 6 seconds on beta right now. If you're trying to keep your envenom, or you're trying to get your envenom back up, if you're trying to keep your slice and dice up, if you're trying to keep your rupture up or anything, 5 seconds is not very long and it will make you start panicking. Now, because poisons are such a big damage source and whatnot, and your physical attacks aren't, it's not a huge deal if you don't get your dispatch off before the blind side buffs falls off. It's just kind of an annoying thing. Like you see this beautiful proc and you can't use it because you need to get your rotation situated. Hopefully they'll add one or two more seconds so it's not quite as uh, crappy feeling when you miss it. But overall, pretty decent buff. Next, Venomous Wounds. This is one of the things that makes Assassination, Assassination. And it's one of the things that really increases your damage done. So you'll notice it says Rupture Garot. You have a 60% chance to deal some energy, some nature damage, and to get 10 energy back. And if your enemy dies, you get an energy refund. So guys, this overall did not change from the live servers and it just took a talent, a two point talent and combined it all into one ability that's going to be passive but this is basically the ability that says if you don't keep rupture or grow it up if you can't let your bleeds fall off, you're dumb keep your bleeds up what are you doing? because if you let it drop, you are not only losing damage, you are also losing your energy regeneration so guys, make sure you're keeping your bleeds up. Make sure you reapply Garote after you vanish and everything like that. Overall, nice little quality of life change. Next, cut to the chase. So currently it's the same as it is on live. It refreshes your slice and dice to its five point maximum, AKA about 30 some seconds. Now, if you're not an assassination rogue, this will probably confuse you and infuriate you, especially on Wowhead, because you're gonna see it and it's gonna say eviscerate. And you're gonna be like, what? It, I don't ha I, when do they change this to eviscerate? I want to put eviscerate in my rotation. Don't worry, when you turn into assassination spec, you will learn in Venom and it will change eviscerate into in Venom. So overall, nothing got changed. Don't freak out if you see eviscerate. Just spec assassination, it'll be there. Next is dispatch. Now this is what I consider to be backstab minus the back and extra stab. So it's 30 energy, so the energy cost has been reduced. And you'll notice that it does a lot of damage. It's much higher than mutilate if you compare the two tooltips but you'll notice it has a requirement you have to have the person be below a certain HP level this interacts with blindside so when blindside procs you're able to use dispatch or if the enemy is below 35% HP you can use dispatch one of the main weaknesses of assassination in, in cataclysm live servers right now is the fact that on a lot of fights you could not get behind the boss and if you can't get behind the boss your entire execute stage of the assassination spec is just moot. Unless the fight had a huge AoE component or you had the legendaries and could outdo the 
fact you were lacking your DPS burn ability, it made assassination totally unviable. This is going to bring it back in viability, and it's super great, and it's super spammy. You can use it whenever you want to, pretty much, because it's 30 energy. It's super cheap. It's going to be a really good addition to our arsenal, guys, especially to finish off the bosses. So I'm liking this one. Next, you'll notice Pot or sorry, Vendetta. <laughs> Vendetta is the exact same as on live, same cooldown, same everything, same damage increase, and same duration. I personally hate Vendetta. It makes you stay on a target for 30 seconds. That's not considering any tier benefits if they make like Vendetta last any longer and stuff like that. I I realize every single fight makes you swap targets. Every single fight penalizes you from staying on a target too long, except for like Altraxian. And th as a result, this is one of my least favorite talents. However, it is a cooldown, it is damage increasing, and it's good to have in our arsenal. So we got to deal with it for now, guys. Maybe one day Blizzard will be nice and put it on us instead of the target. And finally, Potent Poisons are Mastery. So this, I can't really prove that scaling is the exact same as on live. However, it looked like it was when I was level 85. I haven't been in Assassination Rogue for a long time, but I recall the percentages being about the same. Now, the effects are the same. You do more poison damage. And this, mixed with improved poisons, aka increased application rate, mixed with assassination's resolve, makes assassination spec super overpowered. Like, ridiculously overpowered with poisons. So make sure you guys are using it. So guys, that is the assassination spec. It has some really nice changes, and some so-so ones, and some ones that I wish I'd get rid of. But overall, guys, it is performing super well. I can tell you from my own experiences so far, my Assassination Rogue at eye level 378, 380-ish, pre-made, is doing more, if not, or equal if not more, damage than my Combat Rogue, which is sitting in Heroic Dragon Soul gear currently on beta. Primarily thanks to the fact that poisons are just so dang strong. So guys, I hope you have fun with Assassination. I did combat last time, so go check out that video if you want to. There will be an annotation linking to it. And also, my next video will be about subtlety and what changed in there. So check it out next time. I hope to see you guys in my Twitch.tv stream over at Twitch.tv slash Curry. I'll be hanging out with you guys and the viewers doing TCG loot giveaways, having fun, going to Miss Pandaria dungeons, leveling up. So I hope you're there to watch and learn and have a great time with me later. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you later.